Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we'll be taking a look at how to interact with cross-chain assets on Moon River. As you may know, cross-chain assets on Moon River are called XC20s. XC20s are assets that can be transferred between parachains and or the relay chain. They also conform to the ERC20 interface, which means that dApps can interact with them just like regular ERC20s, without making any changes. This is incredibly powerful because it means that assets like KSM can be harnessed in DeFi, utilized in liquid staking, and much more. To get started, head to apps.moonbeam.network slash moonriver. And if this is your first time accessing the dApp, you may be prompted by your wallets to connect to the site. For this demo, I'm going to be sending some KSM from the Kusama relay chain to Moon River, where it becomes known as XCKSM, and then back again to the Kusama relay chain. So to get started, go ahead and click on the cross chain section and click on parachain bridges. Since we'll be making a cross chain transfer from Kusama to Moon River, we'll need to connect both an EVM and a substrate wallet. The Moonbeam dApp supports a wide variety of wallets, so you have the flexibility to choose your preferred options. So we'll go ahead and press connect wallet. And the first thing you'll need to do is select a network. In this case, Moon River's already selected, but if you need to switch networks, it's easy to go ahead and just click on the network you want to switch to. Now I'll go ahead and connect my EVM wallet. In this case, I'll choose MetaMask and select the account that you'd like to connect to the dApp. Press next, press connect. Next, choose the token that you'd like to transfer. So in this case, we'll choose KSM. And next, select the from chain. In this case, we'll be sending from the Kusama relay chain, so we're all set there. We're now gonna have to connect our Kusama account to the Moonbeam dApp. So go ahead and press connect wallet and connect the account that holds your KSM. In this case, I'll be choosing the polkadot.js extension. And if you have multiple accounts in your Substrate wallet, go ahead and choose the correct one. And the Moonbeam dApp will show you the balance of the selected account. Then select the destination chain, which is Moon River in this example. And the recipient will be auto-populated as the connected account from your EVM wallet. If you'd like to change it, simply switch your connected account in your EVM wallet. So if I'd like to change it, I can simply go up here and change it to a separate account. Press connect, and you can see the account switches here. Next, enter the amount that you'd like to transfer in the send box. The dApp has convenient min and max buttons here that can auto-populate the amount field while appropriately accounting for all fees. Note that the minimum amount is sufficient to pay for all fees, but it means that you won't be receiving any funds on the destination chain. For this example, let's send the maximum amount. So I'll go ahead and press max, Review the amount that you're sending, as well as the amount that you'll be receiving on the destination chain, and be sure to review the fees here on the right-hand side. If everything looks good, go ahead and press send, and I'll go ahead and sign the transaction. The Moonbeam dApp will keep track of the cross-chain transfer and will let you know when the transfer is finalized. To see more details about the cross-chain transfer, you can click on View on Explorer in the lower left-hand corner. Press continue to external site, and you can see all the details of the cross-chain transfer in Pocaholic. Heading back to the dApp, we can see that the status has changed to complete. You'll also see some helpful stats like time to finalization, overall cost, and amount transferred. You can click on the plus icon here next to the MetaMask Fox icon in order to add the XE asset to your MetaMask. Go ahead and press add token. Then I can head back to MetaMask and I can see my XEKSM asset listed here. Now let's send the XEKSM from Moon River back to the Kusama relay chain. So I'll go ahead and press bridge again, and I'll choose the token as KSM once again. Then we'll press the switch directions button, ensure that the sending account is correct on Moon River, and you can double check the balance of the sending account just in case. Verify the destination chain is correct. In this case, we wanna be sending back to the Kusama relay chain and select the destination account. You can choose from the drop down here if you have multiple accounts in your Substrate wallet. Next, enter the amount that you'd like to send. In this case, we'll go ahead and send the max amount. So I'll press the max button. Go ahead and review the send and estimated receive amounts, as well as the fees on the right-hand side. We'll go ahead and press send. And we'll confirm the transaction in our EVM wallet. And once again, the Moonbeam dApp will keep track of the cross-chain transfer and will let us know when the transfer is finalized. And we can review the stats of the cross-chain transfer that we just completed. And that's it. 
For more information about cross-chain assets on Moon River, be sure to check out the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.